everybody, it's on from on Sega Lab, and today I have Luke's Hut on Arc 2 from The Last Jedi. I really wanted to build this set for a while because the Arc 2 scenes were one of my favorite scenes of the movie because they looked beautiful. They were so amazing. And, um, yeah. And there were some funny exchanges like, reach out, feel the force. I can feel it. I can feel it. Ow. So I really like that. So I'll be building this and showing it to you. Guys, before we start, I just have to say a few things. Some people are boycotting Solo because they hated TLJ so badly that they didn't even want to see Solo because they were like, this is not Star Wars and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it was a good quality movie. I liked it better than The Empire Strikes Back, to be honest. That's like my least favorite Star Wars movie. By no means is it a bad movie. It's just not my favorite. That doesn't matter. I, I don't understand. It People are just acting silly and stupid over a m movie and they're like, I don't like where this Star Wars thing is going. Like, you can go. You just... Eh. I mean, the younger generation likes these movies and if you don't, then... You can time warp back to 1977, then you don't have to mess with our stuff. But that's enough of me ranting. Let's get on with the set. So this set comes with two bags, one sticker sheet and one instruction book. So here is everything laid out. Let's get building. Alright guys, here's the completed set. Let's start with the minifigures. Here is Luke. He's got his beige cape, white robes, and his staff. He's got a beard and semi-long hair. He's got two faces. He's got his kind of just ugh. And then he's got his annoyed face at Ray. He's like ugh, like in that scene where he w whipped her hand with the leaf. Very little known fact, that leaf is actually the source of all power in the universe. Very little known fact, only about me and nobody else knows that, so you're welcome. All right, that's Luke. Here is Rey. She's got her triple bun haircut from The Force Awakens, if you remember, which is confusing because she had her hair down when she was training, so I don't know. Then she's got her Jedi training outfit, which looks nice. It's got like a jacket, and then she has an, a gray undershirt, and then she has gray pants, and she comes with her staff and her lightsaber. This is actually Luke's lightsaber, but then he threw it off a cliff. She's got two faces. She's got her kind of annoyed face, and then she's got her smiling face. All right, that's Ray. Here is the little Porgy Porgy. He's got a gray and white color scheme with some orange on his face, and he's got one little orange stud for his legs. He's got big black eyes with little white spots in them. And then he's got his little mouth it's like, brah, brah. I love these little creatures. They're so cute. That would so be my pet if I had to choose any animal, fictional or real. This this is it right here. All right, that's the pork. Here is the hut made of stone, as you can see, with the gray and darker gray. You've got some stairs that lead up to the hut with a fireplace. You have a little curtain that you can either A, flip up to go inside, or B, just slide to the side. One thing that you can do that's really cool is there's this little lever back here. I'll show you in a minute. If you just push it down, then this little piece of the side comes out. Uh, I think that's from the scene where Ray accidentally shot a hole in the hut, because I remember she was doing that when she was allegedly cleaning her blaster. I think that's what it's supposed to replicate, because I don't remember it being broken or anything. And then another cool function, I'm gonna bring over Ray. If you spin it. Okay, obviously that worked completely. If you spin it properly, unlike me, because I'm incompetent. Woohoo! Oh, that works much better. <laughs> Can you see? It's supposed to crack open to reveal this little diamond, but it won't crack open that bad. You know what? It might if you just keep it really loose and then you just... Woo! Nope, still. There we go. Thank you, Ray, for the over-the-top demonstration. You can take off the side pieces. There it is. And then you just plug it into the other side if you want to. And you can do that same thing with the front panel. And you can turn it around. It doesn't have a back. And then here's the lever for that function with the exploding type thing. The bed flips up and down like so. Uh, unnecessary feature, but nice to have if you want it. And then you've got 
a little toilet. <laughs> I mean, it's got a couple of black studs in there. I mean, probably not a toilet. Probably just like some pot or something. Maybe it's dirt. I don't know, man. It's got a little basket with a fish in it. And then what appears to be a stem of a carrot. That's what it looks like, except brown. And then moving to this other side, it's got a candle right there and a pan. If you just lift this up and take that out, then you can reveal what appears to be some form of fruit or berry. I'm not really sure. It's a galaxy far, far away. Nobody knows what anything is. And then you've got a little clear glass mug over there. So that's kind of it for the inside. All right, that's Luke's hut. Just in case you didn't notice that. Boom, there's a porg up here. It doesn't go up here, but there's a little space in there. So, you know, this sneaky little porg. I didn't even know what we got up there. Oh, by the way, there's a stud over here on a brick. You can just put them on there. All right, guys, that was Luke's Hut on Octu. Tell me what you think of this set and tell me what you thought of Solo and The Last Jedi because, you know, I mean, are you one of those people who didn't see it? Stupid. But you're not stupid. You're, you're all precious. You're all precious. I can't reach the camera because it's too far, but I'm trying to pet you. You know what I'm trying to do. I just don't get why people would not see one movie because of another movie. That was <laughs> <coughs> trash. Adults these days just don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.